Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Forms to collect files from your students. Let's go ahead and jump into Microsoft Forms. I'm at forms.microsoft.com and I'm signed in. I'm going to create my new form. I'm going to call this sample media from students. Under my question type, I'm going to select add new. Use this drop down menu on the far right to choose file upload. I get this little message that a new folder will be created in my OneDrive and responders will be able to upload their files to that folder. Click OK. And I'm going to ask my students to submit a sample from your podcast or video. Now I'm going to limit the students to one file upload. We can choose the maximum file size we'll accept. And to the far right side of required, we'll see a file type option. I'll select video and audio as the file types I'll accept. Now, when I'm ready to share this, we'll see that it defaults to only people in my organization can respond. And the option for anyone with a link can respond is grayed out. And that's so that you don't have random people uploading files without being signed into their Microsoft accounts. So if you're using Microsoft accounts in your school, this won't be a problem because your students already have accounts and they can upload their files when they go to that link or if you've embedded it or emailed it or shared it in Teams. Now, over here in my OneDrive, we'll see that I have a folder called Apps and within Apps, we'll see Microsoft Forms. And within that, we'll see my file collection form and the question type. And any files that have been submitted will appear right there. So that's how you can use Microsoft Forms to collect files from your students. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.